stepwise relative reachability. The great minds over at DeepMind have considered a novel solution to the scenario of encoding a sense of uncertainty with an AI called stepwise relative reachability. Why researchers decide to name things in such a confusing manner, I will never know. But the overall idea is to set up a reward system that punishes decisions that cannot be taken back. They demonstrate this through a game, classic AI researchers, whereby a bot must move boxes out of its way in a room to reach some goal space. The one rule is that the bot can only push the box, not pull the box. So it will lose the game if it accidentally pushes a box into a corner where its path is still blocked toward the goal. What does this mean? When we consider uncertainty, we are really thinking about how our decision will impact future decisions. Humans are always trying to calculate risk and reward of any given decision. Some of us internalize the mantra of no risk, no reward, but there's always a calculus to determine if the risk is worth it. The same occurs here. Since the bot is penalized, it loses if it makes a decision it cannot undo. This is a unique way to think about uncertainty that I believe aligns with how it works for humans. Risk increases the more a decision cannot be taken back. Going back to the robot taking the child to the movies instead of a school example, the robot, when encoded with stepwise relative reachability, will be more likely to disregard the child's request, because making that decision would be irreversible. That day of school would be lost, whereas that movie could be watched at a future time. Attainable Utility Preservation I will fully admit this concept takes a minute to wrap your head around, but the idea here is to reliably encode a more conservative AI by combining both near and far goals that always look to maximize utility, or an overall positive outcome by, quote, optimizing the primary reward function while preserving the ability to optimize others. Since this can be difficult to understand, let's ask ChatGPT to translate for us. Imagine you're on a ship, and the ship represents your current situation or state. The different directions the ship can sail represent the different actions you or the AI can take. The utility is like the quality of the destinations you can reach from your current position. Some directions will lead to beautiful islands, high utility, while others might lead to dangerous rocks or whirlpools, low utility. If the AI is at the helm, you want it to steer the ship in such a way that it preserves the possibility of reaching the beautiful islands. If the AI steers the ship towards the dangerous rocks, it's reducing your attainable utility because it's limiting your ability to reach the good outcomes, the beautiful islands. In other words, you have a primary goal, but you also have all these secondary goals, which can be completely randomly generated, by the way, that all work to minimize regret in the long run. In our example of the robot helping your kid ditch school for the movies, it would not take that action if encoded with attainable utility preservation, because that decision would lead to a lower long-term utility since the child has missed a day of school, and therefore an opportunity to learn. There are limitations to this approach, as with any. I'm sure you can imagine any number of scenarios where given two choices, they are equally terrible, and both would inevitably reduce utility in the long term. This might lead to inaction in a specific scenario, such as an autonomous car having to decide whether or not to avoid a person crossing the road at the expense of crashing the car. I would argue, though, that inaction in a difficult and rare scenario is much preferable to an action that leads to significant, unintended consequences. I realize it can feel a bit hopeless when it comes to the machinations of Moloch, I myself feel trapped in a system I cannot control, a cog in a complex machine when I'd rather be a cell in a complex organism. It is just as harmful to focus only on the negative, to turn our attention only to Moloch and ingrain in ourselves a hopelessness that he can manipulate. The existential risks are real and likely closer than we expect. 
But we must never forget there is a goddess on our side as well. It's going to get dark, depressing, and downright apocalyptic at times. But please trust that I'll bring you back to win-win in the values that will drive us toward a future where humanity and life can thrive and flourish.